Well, hello and welcome to Virtual Lessons. Hi, I am Ms. Scott. I am the sixth grade counselor at Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School, home of the Titans. And today I'm going to go over a lesson about transitioning to middle school. I am excited to be the sixth grade counselor this year for our awesome incoming sixth graders and our STEM program that we will be offering as well. Wanted to talk to you all about transitioning to middle school. Let's get out all of the jitters because yes, it's an awesome transition, but it is a big transition. And there's a lot of things that are gonna be going on that I kinda wanna get you prepared for so that you are ready you are willing and able to be the greatest sixth grader that you can be. A um, couple of things that you can do. We're going through a very different time right now. But guess what? These are still some things that you could do at home to prepare yourself. So when school opens back up, you are still more than ready to become a middle schooler and a new sixth grade student. Are you ready? Let's talk about it. So, of course, there's so many different things that are probably running through your mind about middle school. How is it? How are the classes? What do I need? How do I prepare? Am I going to remember everything? Will I make friends? Will I see my friends? So many questions. And you might feel a little, little bit anxious. I kind of want to help you relieve that just a little bit and get you on the right track. So I've got some fun stuff that you can do with your parents. You can even do with your other siblings if you like. And these are just some things to help prepare you. So let's talk about them. One great thing about middle school that you should always do, set you up some goals. So I have this awesome sheet right here. And it's also on my board back here. So it's a little hard to see. But I have it so you can see it up so your hopes and your dreams. So as a fifth grader, you might have had some things last year you really liked. Write those things down. But you also last year might have had some things you had trouble with. Also, write that down. And then go about setting you some new goals for your upcoming school year that you want to take on that may be different. Maybe you really liked Having recess, that was something that was fun for you in fifth grade. But you might have had trouble, maybe in math, and that's something you want to work on. So this year, put that as something you want to work on. Maybe doing better with your math equations. Or because you want to get what? Great grades. You want to do really good in middle school. And I want to achieve maybe rising to the seventh grade. That might be something that you want to write as a goal also. This is a fun way, and it will be up on the website along with the video. So that's just something that you need to do. It's always good to start thinking about goals and things you want to achieve before the end of your sixth grade year. That's something you should work on. Also, this is a great seat. Moving on up. There's going to be some things you're excited about. There's going to be some things you wonder about. There are some things that you're going to be worried about. And there's some things that you just want to add. What's going to happen? Take time to write those things down. I'm excited about changing classes. That's going to be different. I get to move around a bigger building because it's middle school. I wonder, I wonder, do we all eat together? How do we do that? want to make sure that I'm prepared for whatever is to happen. Definitely want to do that. Then you might say, I'm worried. I'm worried about, will I see any of my friends? Hey, put that down. So you can start thinking about these questions to ask. And I would like to ask another sixth grader, how did you feel being in middle school? How was your first year? Were you anxious? Were you nervous? Or you even scared. These are some great things to start preparing yourself for. And you can do it with your parents as well. Because you can get into a school counselor if you go to MLK. Will be me. 
And we can talk about these things. You can also get with some of your friends that have already been there and talk about these things. And if you have a good relationship with your counselor in fifth grade or your teachers and you know them where hey, this is also some things that you can ask them about. Because you want to get all your questions answered and make sure that you're not nervous, but we get you prepared. Now, here's a fun activity to do. Over the summer, there are some things that you should be thinking about that's going to get you ready for that transition. Because like I said, it's a great transition, but it's a big one because you got a lot of different things going on. And we want you to be prepared in everything that you do, even from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. So, this says summer prep time for middle school. Start now. Why not? You got plenty of time on your hands. Start prepping in the summer for your middle school year. This side says the day before my first day of middle school. So I have this in red. I have this in green. Why? Because right now this is right where we're at. We're going to start right here and start right here. But this is going to get you prepared to go that first day. So let's think about some things that, as a fifth grader, you might have some questions about. Great thing that you can do, get you some sticky notes that are different colors. We're going to start writing some things down. One great thing you can do. Look up your school. Start looking it up. Start thinking of some things that you want to know about your school. Like with every middle school, we have a mascot. MLK's mascot is the Titans. We have basketball team. We have activities. Think about all of those things. Those are some things that you might want to look up. You want to look up the area. You want to go and visit the school. You know, just to see where it's at and what it looks like. So I have in that discussion now. Discuss with your parents changing classes. You're going to be changing classes. You're going to go from English to math to science to history. And then you're also going to have electives. That's something very different. Electives are in what we would call UCL time in elementary school where you had art and you might have had PE um, and you also might have had music skill. And get dance, you get health and PE, you get gifted and talented, you get technology, you get keyboarding, you get family and consumer science, like home ec. you get all of these different things that you can do, even Spanish, a foreign language. So start thinking about, I'm going from one place to the next. The great thing about MLK is each grade level has their own hallway. Sixth grade will have their hallway, Seventh grade will have their hallway and eighth grade. So you'll be around a lot of the same students, but you will leave the hallway when it's time for you to go to your electives. So we want you to get to know what those electives look like and when you go to lunch. So think about changing classes. That's something great. Also, learn how to work the combination. Now, at MLK, we do not use our lockers. But you may not be coming to MLK. This is just as a middle school student. You might be going to a different school. Could be going to Benford, Albert Hill. You might be going to Henderson. You may be going to the New River City. So if you are, definitely if you have combination, learn how to work a combination. Maybe you know how to power You know how to go from number to number. That's something great that you can do. And it also helps with math because it's in multiples of five. So definitely. That'll help you out. Something else. Read, 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 read great books this summer. I'm encouraging you to read three great books this summer. Sometimes you don't read enough. Read some awesome things. Okay, maybe you don't like books. Hey, get a newspaper. Read the newspaper. But read magazines. Read, read, read always helps. Always helps stimulate the mind. And when you go into 
sixth grade, you've got to start preparing yourself for more rigorous work, writing and reading. If you want to start engaging your mind and getting your mind ready for to receive more education and receive some different integrated ways of doing education. So definitely read this summer. It's always good. Discuss getting up early. If you're like me, I got to prepare. Talk to your parents about how you're going to get up. You now got to get up a lot earlier because school starts at different times. You may have had an elementary school that started at middle school time, but you might not have. So that means that you may have been getting up, mm, let's say about 8 o'clock, 8.30 or so, and you got to be at school around 9. But for middle school at eight, we're in the building. We're getting ready to start going to breakfast and getting ready for your first period of the day. So definitely you want to think about what it's going to take to prep yourself to get up early, especially if during this time that we're going through, you've been sleeping in. Start preparing yourself to think about that. Now, this is something fun. carry. Hey, be flexible because you're going to have supplies that you're going to need to make sure that for each class you are prepared. Notebooks, pencils, paper, different extra books that you're going to need, binders. So go ahead and start thinking about a really sturdy, nice book bag that you want. Hopefully this year, like last year, we had the opportunity to give out 700 book bags. I'm hoping we get to do that same thing this year. So in case you don't have one, we might be able to have one for you. So we'll keep our fingers crossed about that. So this is just a couple of things. You can put as many as you like up here to prepare and prep during the summer for middle school. But let's talk about once you've prepped, let's go over some things the day before. Like it's anxiety. Oh my gosh. We're going to go to school the next day. What should I be thinking about? What should be important to prepare me? I got to prioritize, put things in order. Hey, let's talk about some things. You want to look over your schedule or maybe your homework. Depending on your school, you're going to get a schedule and, or you may get a homeroom. You want to know what that is before that first day of school. So that way you don't go and you feel like you don't know what's going on. You just walk into this new place and you have no clue. These will go home. You will see them in the mail. So look forward for it. And that's something that definitely you and your parent really need to sit down and talk about. Get into that homeroom and we're going to have wonderful people all over the building to help you. No matter what grade you are in, everyone's going to welcome you. Everyone's going to help you, walk you to your hallway if you need it. We want to make sure that you get there and you are welcomed when you walk in. And that's not just at MLK. That's at any middle school that you are in in RPS. We want to make sure that you're welcomed on your first day. Also, got to decide... What time you're going to get to bed? Go to bed. Get you some good rest because there's going to be a lot going on that first day. A whole lot of anxiety may be going on with you. So you want to make sure you are getting proper rest. Make sure you talk to your parents about that. If you, Even if you don't want to eat at home, you can eat at school because we're going to have breakfast for you or have a good breakfast before you leave home. Get you some rest. Get in the bed early so that you're ready, you're prepared, and that first day of school, you are on it and on time because we're going to be waiting there for you with open arms to welcome you on your first day. Also, some fun regular things to do, lay out your clothes. Hey, what kid doesn't want to be fresh <laughs> on that first day of school? Lay out your clothes. The night before so in the morning you don't feel like you're rushing to figure out what shoes i want to wear today or what outfit i want to put on go ahead and lay all of that stuff out that's going to help you out too also that book bag prepare that book bag take some supplies you don't have to take everything the first day 
just take enough to prepare you to write down some pertinent, meaning important information that your teacher is writing about. And that way, in case they give you some papers or like emergency contact sheets that you might get or immunization sheets that you might get, anything, your schedule, all of those things, you want to have somewhere to put it so that it doesn't get messed up or damaged. So make sure you have a piece of put all of those wonderful things in it. If you don't have a book bag, it's okay. See if you maybe can get just a binder or a notebook so that way you can have something to just close it up in and you can carry with you when you don't feel like you just got a loose paper and you're scared you might lose it because we don't want you to feel nervous or scared about anything we want you really prepared and if you're not able to have that stuff don't worry we're going to have some supplies that first day of school for you also just in case you're not able to get some things we're still going to be prepared for you and also talk to your friends talk to your friends gotta help you out because you're going to see some people that you know you're going to see some people that you don't know but talk to your friends see how do you got the same homeroom? You might have some of the same classes. Say hi when you get in the building. Walk to school together if you guys are walkers. Get on the bus together if you guys are riders. So you feel comfortable. We want to make sure that your first year of middle school is awesome and amazing. And you feel like you are prepared to be a great student that year. And as you go through this with your parents or even an older sibling, we just want to make sure this is an easy way at home some great stuff that you can just get from Dollar Tree or get from Dollar General if your parents go out. Really easy. Everything's like a dollar. Not a whole lot. That you can put up at the house and just prepare your, over the summer. Get you prepared. And for that day before your first day of middle school, you are about to be a middle schooler. And I found it was something great to do. This was fun. You hear my noise in here. I thought, hey, I want to make sure I mark off what I'm doing. So I found these great little emoji stickers. So every time you do something, take time to take an emoji sticker and you can just take it and say, you know what? Hey, mom, we've read some books. Mark it off. We read books. You can take as many sticky notes as you want to put up here. Mark off each one. And this is just a fun way to do it. Emoji stickers. So, you know, every time I see an emoji, that means that I've actually accomplished that task. These are things that not only can work in the summer, these are things that can work when you're doing schoolwork. Sometimes we have to be organized. When you are going to middle school, you're going to need to be organized in a different way than you were in elementary. And so this is something also that can help you get organized. Because a lot of times you're going to have a lot of teachers that teach different. And you want to be organized and know what each teacher's expectations are and what you need to bring back and take home from each teacher that gives you work. So this is just a fun way of welcoming you to middle school. No matter what middle school you go, in RPS, in Richmond Public Schools, we want to say welcome to middle school, you are going to be an amazing sixth grader. No matter what it seems like, you're going to do an awesome job. So this is just a transition lesson for you over our virtual learning. Hopefully you had a great time. Once again, I'm Miss Scott. I am the sixth grade counselor that will be at Martin Luther King Junior Middle School, home of the Titans. If you are coming, I hope to see you there. Can't wait to meet you there. And if you are one of my students, I got something special that I send you in the summer, just so you can know a little bit about me before you get to middle school. See you then.